Okay, I just wanted to briefly talk about a article from Cinema Blend that came out yesterday. Or, yeah, sometimes I get mixed up on the dates um, in a different time zone here. But um, <clears throat> this article was explaining how, as they called it, we had a long time to wait for the DVD or the Blu-ray to actually drop from the time of the pre-order or whatever but to me that's not so much of a problem and i hope you can hear me i'm trying to keep my voice down out here um but anyway the, the thing is that i really wanted to talk about from this article was that cinema blend had once again acknowledged our existence as as they put it the vocal fandom and thankfully they didn't say toxic fandom and so that's another thing that i actually want to to touch on a little bit uh, the, but the thing is, in light of the fact that we had just discussed the other day about whether it was okay or whether it was good for us to actually be um, so vocal on the internet and be so, like, you know, the way we sort of invade uh, threads and and movie threads and, and ranking threads and voting for Alita and showing our support for Alita. And some people feel like maybe we're going a little too far or overboard with it. Um, boy, I thought I had a quiet corner. <laughs> uh, so, but anyway, some people feel like maybe we were going too far with that. But this article kind of shows or proves that I think it's actually a good thing that we're so vocal and that we're so noticeable. Because without... Without this fandom, let's just say if Alita had hit the movie theaters and made his four hundred million, which it probably wouldn't even made if, if, if some, especially in China, people weren't just weren't just showing up and just coming again and again and again. But without the fandom really being as fervent as we are, um, this movie would have just been pretty much it would have just made its four hundred million and just sort of just went away, right? It, it would have been really truly considered uh, a failure as some people still try to claim it is. And the thing is though, with the fandom actually showing up and showing support and, and going to threads and being very visible and vocal, then that solidifies this movie as not just a mere, you know, just one and done, you know? So, I'm just going to read this one part here because this is all I really care to read about and read here. So, this past February, Elita Ballinger made his debut in theaters worldwide, fulfilling a dream decades in the making. Starting as co writer, co writer, producer James Cameron's baby, and eventually being transferred to the, to the loving care of director Robert Rodriguez, the film went on to score an impressive gross at the box office, as well as a vocal internet fandom. So this is the second time Cinema Blend has acknowledged us. I'm trying to remember. I think maybe Forbes did as well once. Um, maybe that was Mark Hughes. I'm not quite remembering. But I know Cinema Blend has at least acknowledged us twice. So, you know, that gives Cinema Blend a little bit more goodwill as far as I'm concerned. Um, they don't completely just ignore us and pretend we don't exist. And they haven't called us toxic. So that's great. Uh, maybe, hey, maybe this person is one of us, actually. <laughs> so, uh, maybe, they're, maybe they're one of the elite army. Anyway, the whole thing is, it's good um, because that gives Alita's brand more strength. Without the fandom, uh, people will look at the property, the IP, and say, well, it didn't make much money. There doesn't appear to be a whole lot of interest in it. What more risk? should we take with this IP but with the fandom showing up the way it is the, the, the leader army then that actually gives people uh, more confidence in the property because they know that it's it actually has I guess you could say and in, in, in it, it's not quite intangible but it has potential you know man there's so many people coming around suddenly uh, I'm going to try to wrap this up. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about was that 
when you consider the difference between what they would call the toxic fandom, who in my opinion isn't really all that toxic, um, it just it's just a matter of people voicing their displeasure, which they are totally within the right to do. Um, some people would actually go too far, go crazy, like uh, the Raylos, from what I've heard, stalking and doxing people and stuff like that. That's a little too far. That is toxic. But as for people complaining, people getting on the internet and making videos, complaining about the things that they don't like, that's not toxic. All right? That's just people voicing their opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but compare that to mostly what's going on with the leader army, right? Most of us, from what I see, most of us are pretty focused on just supporting the leader and not really focused on attacking other things. So I think that is a great difference between the leader army and what they would call the toxic fandom. And I, I have to admit that even even though I don't really share in their enthusiasm for the Snyder things, the, the, the release the Snyder cut fandom is pretty cool as well. Uh, I might offend some people by saying this, but I think Snyder is a little bit... Uh, I don't think he's as as hype as some people try to make him out to be, but you know that's that's fine. Some people see him that way, and and they and they're behind the, the release of Snyder Cut movement like they are, sort of like we are for the uh, the leader army is for Alita. Then you know I think these are two examples of great of great movements, great fandoms, and I'm not sure if you if if we even really need a, a name or a term for that kind of stuff. You know, like if there's toxic fandom on one end, um, I should give something you something to actually look at instead of making you stare at this page. Uh, if there's toxic fandom on one end, there should be something on the other end of the spectrum, which I think the leader army would fit. Um, like the, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, great. Now, nah, great fandom sounds kind of stupid. <laughs> there has to be some kind of name. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this go on too long. So, uh, yep, keep being, keep supporting the leader. Keep um, buying those DVDs. I need to get on Facebook a little bit more and start promoting there and also Instagram and all that other stuff too and, and sort of spread out from Twitter a little bit. Um, I, I'll probably be trying to do that. And, uh, yeah, so before I wrap this up, I just want to also say that, excuse my lack of um, posts, videos, and tweets, because I know, like yesterday, it was kind of a big deal with uh, the Blu-rays and, and pre-orders and everything dropping, and I was kind of absent, but I was busy with the family and stuff, so um, anyway, that's all. All right, so thanks for watching.